nervous man. He's not a natural performer, and he finds it very difficult to stay calm in front of big crowds. Piers? No, no, not Piers, no. It's, uh, it's singer Jamie Pugh. Your name is? Jamie. Why are you here, Jamie? To see if I can sing in front of this lovely audience. You actually got to start believing in yourself. You've got three S's. You're through. I'm 38 now, and I'm knocking on. This opportunity could allow me to stop being a warehouse van driver, to stop delivering pizzas, and be Jamie a singer, to give my children more. Jamie Pugh gave one of the most moving auditions I've ever seen. My last audition was the most nervous and most fearful I've ever been. I gave the best I could give, but now, can I do it again? My fear is that tonight, live television, nerves will cripple him. This is all I dream of. This is all I want. I want to be able to sing, and I can't let my nerves beat me. Please welcome, Jamie Pugh. Listen, um, you really struggle with nerves. You really struggle with nerves on your very first audition. I you do. didn't seem to be struggling with nerves there, though. How was that? Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah, phenomenal. You enjoyed really that? enjoyed it. Yeah. What's uh, changed? Um, I just don't want it to stop. I don't want the feeling to stop. And I do get nervous, and I apologise for that. And I know that it brings vibrato into my voice. And I do, and with progress, it'll stop, I promise. Let's see what the judges made of it. Uh, Piers, let's start with you. Well, Jamie, look, I absolutely loved your audition, and the whole story of you trying to combat these nerves is incredibly inspiring. And I think tonight we really saw you come on this huge stage with millions of people watching and control your nerves. Having said that, I don't think your voice was as good on that performance as it was at the audition. And it's a great shame for me because I love you as a performer, as a guy, but I've got to be honest and say tonight, I don't think it was quite as good. Okay. Amanda, you buzzed. Jamie, it's, it's not anything, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad, I'll tell, I tell you what it is, your voice, you have a good voice, but I just didn't feel comfortable watching you. You're there to entertain me, I have to look at you now, you're there to entertain me, and I was just too, very uncomfortable and very nervous for you, and as a member of the audience and as a judge, I need to be able to relax and just enjoy it, and I, and I didn't because you were so nervous. Okay, thanks Amanda. Simon, do you agree with Piers and, and Amanda? Well, he's a lot more nervous after you exed him halfway through the song. I mean... Yeah. Amanda. Look, Jamie, I actually thought the last note was very good. 
Um, but as an overall performance, uh, I don't think it was good enough. Um, and I think you may have to come to terms with the fact that your nerves are always going to hold you back. Because if you can't do it now, I don't know whether you're ever going to be able to do it again. And halfway through the song, for me, it absolutely fell apart. And you may have to come to terms with the fact, Jamie, this is not for you. Yeah. Sorry. No, sorry. What's, your, what's your reaction to that? What's... Um, that's their opinion, and I have to respect their opinion. Mm -hmm. And I respect the fact that a man directs I me. Mean, there's, no, you know, there's no problem. It's fine, that's their opinion, and I have to respect it, it that. It wasn't easy, Jamie. It no. wasn't easy to do that. Well, no. it wasn't being me. But that's Jamie, okay. You've got, you've got a hell of a guts to get up there and do that. I couldn't do what you just did. Really. I can't. I'm not And what we have to remember, of course, is that it's not the judges putting you through, it's down to the public now. for a quick break now but we'll be back in a few minutes with four more acts ready to do whatever it takes to make it to that big final on Saturday. See you in a few minutes.